Hi, this is Sarit Schwetzer, and welcome to the It Is Taught podcast, a podcast devoted to the teachings of Rabbi Schneir Zalman of Liadi, as recorded in his most famous work, the Tanya. My hope for this show is to make these teachings accessible and relatable to the average person, regardless of prior Jewish education or affiliation. The episodes follow the prescribed daily study portions and are meant to serve as practical lessons in how to live your life as your true self and develop an authentic and powerful relationship with your Creator. I have personally experienced the effects the study of this work has had on me, and I'm excited to share what I can of this knowledge with you. So please join me on this journey of learning, self-growth, and connection with your Source. Hi, and welcome to the It Is Taught podcast, episode 41 for the 29th of Teves in a leap year. And this is the last day of Teves, and today we're going to be beginning chapter 15. So I want to start off today's episode by having you guys take a moment and think about someone you know. It, this may be you yourself, or if it does not apply to you, maybe it's someone else that you know, who does something for a living that they're really passionate about. That, you know, when somebody asks them what it is that you do for a living, they don't just, to them, it's not just a job, but it's something that actually really defines them as a person in some way. So this could be anything. This could be being a teacher, being a lawyer, being a writer. It, it, it really, the profession itself doesn't really matter. But what I want you to think about is somebody, again, maybe this person is you, if you're lucky, who really embodies what it what it is that they do for a living, so much so that it comes really naturally to them. It's not something that they really have to work at anymore, and it's something that they just really do with joy. And then think about this person and think about the journey that they had to do to get there. And you might begin to realize that the person didn't wake up that day. So let's say, you know, let's say we want to talk about a, a writer. Let's say somebody who's a world famous author. So do you think that such a person woke up one day or was born, you know, as a five year old and just started writing masterpieces? You hear so many stories all the time about writers who I just read a story about a, a famous author the other day who all of their teachers gave them really bad grades in school and told them that you, they, they don't have any talent in writing. You hear these kind of stories all the time that people who were writers or turned out to be world famous authors or world famous at anything or, you know, really successful in whatever it is that they did. They were given a lot of discouragement as a child. They never thought that they, they would be good at this particular thing. Right. So this is this is a very common thing that we can see. And yet, eventually, after a lot of toil and a lot of hard work, they make it and they eventually are able to get to that level of embodying, of, of, of that dream of embodying that profession of whatever it is that they are. So in today's Tanya, we're going to be talking about this topic in terms of the profession of being a servant of God. And we're going to be talking about these two different levels within serving God of whether somebody who is is a is striving towards being what we know as a servant of God, which would be that person who is you know striving, they haven't yet achieved this level of their profession, versus the one who has attained it, the one who's the actual servant. And so the altar of it categorizes these two levels into the terms that hopefully have become very familiar to us at this point, which is the Benani versus the Tzadik. So you may have guessed by now that if, if you really are starting to understand these concepts, that the one who is not yet the professional, the one who is striving for that, that's who we would call the Benoni versus the professional, the one who has embodied it, the one who really is living and actualizing the dream of this profession of being a servant of God is what we know of as the Tzadik. So let's get into the text and see how the Alter Rebbe himself breaks it down. So here in chapter 15, the Alter Rebbe begins by quoting a verse from Malachi chapter 3 verse 18, 
where it says, Veshavtem veraitem ben sadik le rasha, ben oved elokim la asher lo avdo. And to translate that, that means, and you shall return and you shall see the difference between a tzaddik and a rasha and between one who serves God and to one who does not serve God. So there's a question implied here in the Ultra Rebbe citing this verse, which is that this verse appears at first glance to be somewhat repetitive. So this breakdown here, which just might sound very poetic, but yet we know that nothing is extra in the Bible. We know that every single word is very specific. But so here it seems to be a little bit redundant where the verse says that you should see the difference between a tzaddik and a rasha, okay? And then one who serves God and one who does not serve God. So this seems to be saying the same thing. So, you know, what does it seem like? It, you know, one who serves God, what does that mean? It seems like that means it's a tzaddik, right? A tzaddik is somebody who serves God versus one who does not serve God is a rasha most likely, right? So the altar over here in today's portion is going to explain to us that it's not that simple and it's a little bit more complicated. And he's going to tell us that in fact, one who serves God and a tzaddik are not actually one in the same things. And he demonstrates this by saying, one who serves God, the language of that is in the present. So what does that mean? That means that when we say that this is a person who serves God, it's somebody who's actively serving God. He's actively at war with his Yetzirah, with his evil inclination to be able to overcome him and to be able to push him out from this small city, which we call the, the body, so that it will not be enclosed in, t- in in the entire body, thus it in the entire body, which is really a very big work and toil to be constantly and perpetually f- fighting. And this, if you've been following our episodes, what does this sound like to you? This is what we call a bainani, right? A bainani is one who is engaged in this toil and struggle and constant war within themselves. Versus a tzaddik, on the other hand, what is a tzaddik called if a tzaddik is not one who serves God? A tzaddik is called an Eved Hashem, a servant of God. So this is this is a this is a descriptive term, not unlike when we were talking about, remember in the beginning, we said author. What's the difference between one who writes versus one who is an author? There's a very big difference. One who writes and one who practi- practices writing is somebody who's actively working on improving their writing skills, versus an author is somebody who's attained that and who embodies it. So this is what a tzaddik is. So a tzaddik is somebody who has who owns this title of being a servant of God. Just like, and the Altar gives a few more examples, somebody who's a chacham, a wise man, or a melech, a, a king. Because this is somebody, it's not that they are working on becoming smart, a wise person, or somebody who's like actively working on becoming a king. It's This is what they are. They, they've attained this title already and they reached the goal. So a tzaddik is somebody who already went through that process of toil and he finished it and he's, he no longer has that war with the evil within him. He actually pushed it outside and he banished it from, with, from within his mist and it's no longer within his heart anymore. So... So to recap, just again, just to give this contrast and bring it back to the analogy that we gave in the beginning of a writer is somebody who actively is working on writing cannot be called the same thing as an author. So a Benoni is somebody who is working on serving God. They're working actively in their service of God, but they cannot yet be given that title of being a servant of God, a servant of God. Is what we is a tzaddik, just like we would say an author. Somebody who's an author is only somebody who's actually published books. Really, maybe people have bought the books that they've demonstrated some level and measure of success in being an author. Then we can give them that title of being an author. So, so too a tzaddik is somebody who no longer has this toil and and internal battle and perpetual war that a benoni has. They've actually gone to the next level where now they can actually own that title of being a servant of God. So I hope that this was helpful in understanding chapter 15. If you can think of any other analogies, or if you can think of ways that this portion has affected you or that you can relate to it in your personal life, I'd love to hear from you. You can leave comments on my YouTube channel below this video. And that's it. And I'll speak to you tomorrow when we continue with chapter 15. Thanks for listening to the It Is Top podcast, hosted by Sarit Switzer. This podcast is dedicated in loving memory of my maternal grandfather, Abraham Yitzhak Ben Binyamin Cohen of Blessed Memory. Music by Shoshana. 
If you enjoyed this episode and would like to support the show, please share it with others and subscribe on YouTube, Apple iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And make sure to leave us a five-star review. To find out more about the It Is Taught project, including more information on my soon-to-be-published book, please visit our website, itistaught.com. To catch the latest from me, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Looking forward to speaking with you tomorrow, and until then, have a great day.